In this video, we will build a fully functioning messaging application in React Native using Expo and Streams Chat SDK, supporting ready to use UI components such as Channel List. Here is the final sample app. The Channel List displays a list of channels using React Native's flat list component. Pressing any of the Channel List items navigates you to the Messages list where you can compose messages and also add reactions. From this quick start guide, we will clone the sample demo from GitHub and run it on both iOS and Android. So I'll click code and choose this option to copy the URL to clipboard. Let's launch Kesa and git clone it. After cloning the app successfully, we need to install some dependencies. So let's move to the project's root and yarn install to install all project dependencies. Next, we move to the package directory and yarn install as well. Since we are using Expo, we will go to the Expo package and repeat the same action. Lastly, we will move to the Expo messaging directory in the example directory of the project and yarn install once more. I will select the TypeScript index file. So in this file, we create a channel list component that displays the chat channels using StreamChat Expo. First, we import the necessary dependencies. Then, we define these two constants for filtering the channels and also sorting the channels by last update. With the channel screen component, we create a screen that lists the messaging channels for a specific user. Let's run it on iOS first. So we need to navigate to the iOS directory and run the app with yarn iOS. That will take a while because it is going to launch the Xcode simulator. After running the app on iOS, we will also launch it on Android. You have noticed here, it is now installing the app on the iPhone System Pro simulator. So let's wait for a moment. We can also launch another terminal instance and run it on Android. So in the Android directory, let's run yarn Android. That will also take a while before installing the app successfully on an Android device. So we now have the app on both iOS and Android. With the iOS version, there is some caching issue. So you have noticed here some of the images are not loading. We can send messages and perform other chat operations like I showed in the beginning of the video. Adding attachments, and also voice recording everything is working fine 